So it's time to write a post on social media to talk about your business or your product and you find yourself freeze. You're overwhelmed, you shut down. Next thing you know, your mind goes totally blank. Has this ever happened to you? How many hours do you feel you spend or you waste trying to write the perfect social media post only to get crickets and to tell yourself to end up doom scrolling because you're frustrated that you don't know what to say, you don't know how to say it, and you've edited it to death only to post nothing. If that's you, I'm gonna be sharing with you four simple tips to totally change your content strategy and reduce the overwhelm you feel when you sit down to write content. Before we get into that, I'm Kristen Boss. I'm a sales and marketing and mindset coach for the social selling and network marketing industry. I teach social sellers how to show up powerfully in the online space and how to market and sell powerfully so they can sustainably grow their paychecks. If you don't already follow me over on Instagram, follow me at the Kristen Voss. We always do a lot of fun stuff over there and more relevant content to serve you. Okay, so let's get into the four questions you need to ask yourself anytime you sit down to write content. Listen, if it's taking you an hour to write a post, that's so much time you are wasting when you can be doing other things to better grow your paycheck. When you understand how to write powerful content and how to speak to your audience, a powerful post could take you 15 minutes or less. Now, if that sounds amazing to you, you're gonna wanna ask yourself these four questions before you sit down to write your post. The first one you wanna ask yourself is, one, who am I writing this for? Who am I talking to? This is absolutely where all of your overwhelm comes from, is you don't know who you're talking to. Who is it that needs to hear your message today? It's no different than if you were to start a podcast or write a book or start a YouTube channel. You'd have to be like, well, who's tuning in to this channel? Who's tuning in to watch this? Who's going to be excited to you know, listen to this or consume this content? So you have to be really clear on who this is for. What are they dealing with? What's going on in their life? What season of life are they in? Suddenly, when you go from trying to talk to everybody and you know who you are writing to, I like to picture writing content for one person in your audience. When you are thinking about, okay, I'm gonna write to this one mom who feels really overwhelmed, really tired, they're new in their postpartum journey, and I'm gonna speak to her today. Great, now we are very clear on who we are writing content for. The second thing you wanna ask yourself is, what are they struggling with or what do they want? So we've got the who, what do they want or what are they struggling with? What's keeping them up at night? So we'll continue with the postpartum mom example. It's like, well, what is she struggling with? Maybe it's fatigue, exhaustion, her new identity, or what does she desire? Maybe it's like five seconds of not being touched or being asked, you know, what's for dinner or where's the snacks or all those things. Like really speaking to where they are right now. So now we're speaking to a struggle or a desire. Which one do you wanna to speak to? Number three is what useful tips can I share for that person now that would be helpful to them? Useful tips is anything that educates, empowers, or entertains them. It's speaking to that one person and you're giving them uh, very tangible things that they can take from your content and apply and use in their day. This is value. A lot of people get very confused on what does it mean to add value and they think adding value means educating their audience about their product. No, that is product education, that's brand building. No, adding value is how do I build a connection with my audience where they feel seen and heard and validated and have that earned trust so that when I do talk about my product, I actually have their ear. So what useful tips are you gonna share? Again, it's about educating, empowering, or entertaining. When you go there, you might be able to come up with three quick bullet points. The last one, tip number four, question number four you wanna ask yourself is what do I want them to do next? After they read my post, what do I want them to do? Essentially, you're thinking of your call to action. Do I want them to follow? Do I want them to comment or ask me a question in the comments? Do I want them to like, share it with their stories, tag a friend? Do I want them to message me a word, like message me, get started? Do I want them to try a sample? Every post you wanna think about what is the outcome I'm creating? Otherwise, you're just throwing throwing something in the wind without having strategy and intention behind it. Having content strategy is absolutely key. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time on social media and the only thing you might be gaining are likes, but not actually gaining customers. And with social selling, we use social media to actually generate more sales, acquire new customers, and get new team members. So you have to be thinking of, okay, how am I creating that 
with this content today? Am I starting a relationship? Am I bringing people in? At what point, what is the point of this post? Is this to nurture my audience, to bring new people in, or is it to sell them or educate them on a product? You have to be clear when you sit down to write your content. So when you position yourself in that way, through your content, you're gonna find followers that love engaging with you, you're gonna get more customers and more sales. So the next time you sit down to write content, sit down with these four questions and you're gonna feel a lot more clear and you're gonna find yourself executing the post and saving a ton of time. If you found this useful or helpful, be sure to subscribe and follow for more. If you wanna learn more about how to actually bring more people in, how to use content hooks and how to write more compelling content, I've actually created this amazing uh, little kind of gift for you called the Audience Accelerator. It's all the prompts that I use all the things I did to generate half a million dollars in sales without using any paid ads. It's how I teach my students. It's incredibly useful. If you wanna learn more about how to grow an audience and how to write amazing, compelling content, you're gonna to wanna to click the link below.